about resonance and about pendulums. Then what is a pendulum? A pendulum is a mass attached to a weightless string. So here I have two pendulums, one with a red ball attached to a string and attached to a bigger green ball attached to another string and a stand. So I have here is a stand, some string attached with the green ball, some more string and attached with the red ball. So what I do here is take this red ball and make it not touch the green ball and let it go. So this one so it's back and forth and at some point this green ball is stable then it is moving. So the energy is here and then it's here. So energy can be transferred. So the energy is transferred from here to here. So only the green ball moves when the red ball comes at the right frequency. So now let's do it again but Putting it over here, not making it touch the green ball, and it's moving, and then this green ball is moving, and then this one is stable, and then this one is moving, and then back again and again. It's like in a pattern. But if we did it in a vacuum, they would keep on going forever and ever. So there's no air resistance, so they would this ball would keep on oscillating back and forth again and again and this green ball will stay, stay stable at some point and move at some other point. So now we did a fun experiment but now what is resonance? Resonance is a small force applied again and again at the right time. So this causes a large motion and this is what's called resonance. Now we learned about resonance and learned what a pendulum is and did a fun experiment about resonance and pendulums. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more fun science experiments. See you next time. Bye! Today we are going to do an experiment about resonance and about pendulums. What is resonance? Resonance is a small force applied again and again at the right time. This causes a large motion. This is called resonance. Now we know about resonance. Then what are pendulums? Pendulums are just a weight attached to a weightless string. Now we know about pendulums. So let's do our experiment and make sure that there is an adult next to you for your safety. And safety is important for you kids. So what you will need for this experiment is a long stick, a small stick, some rope, two stands, some more string, and three balls. So, I have two big balls, the same size, and one small metal ball. So, first, attach the long stick to the two stands. Then, tie some rope with the small stick and tie some string in the stick and tie it with three balls. My parents built this for me. So now we can drag this and let it go and see what happens. So this one moves back and forth and this one is starting to move but this one doesn't even move. So and then this one stops and then this one moves and then it goes again and again in patterns because of the length of the string is same but this one is shorter. So if it's short, that means it won't take the energy from here to here. So if it's a short string, it won't take the energy but it's the same string. If it's the same string, that means it will take the energy. Now let's try pulling the little marble and the big ball and let it go at the same time. So the little marble goes rapidly, fastly and the big 
ball goes slowly is because of the length of the string. If the string is long, that means the frequency is low. If the string is short, that means the frequency is high. And frequency depends on the length of the string. So now we did an experiment, learned about resonance and about pendulums and a few questions about this experiment. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more fun science experiments. See you next time. Bye.